So I did my uh, trailer reaction video earlier. It's my first one, right? So what I figured is the only logical thing to do is to go back and do a trailer breakdown. So that's what I'm going to do for everybody, you know? I ain't no expert on movies or nothing, but I watch enough movies, read enough comics, watch enough comic book movies to give y'all some feedback on the trailer. The Avengers Infinity War trailer was cool, you know. Probably see my posters and things. I'm a DC fanboy. I do like DC. I like DC comics. I like them a lot. But it's okay to like DC and Marvel. I want them all to do good. Every single one of them. Might not like them all, but I want them all to do good. It's like my childhood came alive when I became an adult. If I was a kid when these movies came out, I'd have went crazy. You know? I buy a lot of action figures for my kids right now with my son. But, they're, I mean, they're kind of for me. But we share them. You know, I just want to collect them. He wants to play with them. He's three, so he puts them in his mouth. But what I'm going to do... I'm going to break this bad boy down slide by slide or screenshots that I took that I thought were important. Check them out with me. Here we go. Listen, I don't know how Bruce Banner got back to Earth. He looked like he crash landed. He looked dazed, confused, and constipated. How did Bruce Banner and the Hulk get back to Earth? I know he didn't crash land there all the way from space, did he? That'd be crazy. It's just saying he was in the same scene in the first Avengers. And then you got this weird stuff. Where uh, Scarlet Witch and the Vision are like a normal couple living together. Like, I know they was cool. And they had a little, you know, romance brewing. But now they live together? It just, it's just blowing me away. <clears throat> now, what I don't get is how the Vision looks like a normal dude. I have no, I had no idea he could change the appearance. Maybe Scarlet Witch did something. If you know if you can do that or there's something in the com uh, comics... Please tell me, because I did not know that Vision could change his appearance. He looks happy. Looks happy as all get out. And now he looks in pain, because whoever has this crow foot stuck this spirit destiny right in his forehead to get that infinity stone. Ripping it out. Look how much pain he's in. Look at them toes. Look at those toes. Gotta be the Black Order. I would imagine it's the Black Order. But who is strong enough to hold the vision down like this? Because he's strong as hell. Look, there's a foot holding his arm down, and he's getting the Infinity Stone ripped out. His romance didn't last too long. Vision might die. He might be the one to die in this movie. I don't know. Somebody got to die, and he's looking like a prime suspect. And then you got Tony Stark, who want to get the Hulkbuster armor to fight Thanos. It's not going to be any good. But I do tell you that he beat the Hulk up in the second Avengers movie. And if Thanos beat him down, that'll tell you what Thanos is finna do to the Hulk. He finna beat them all down on there. And look at that arm sitting right there. That's Hulkbuster arm. So I'm telling you that Hulkbuster arm ain't gonna be no good. Because it looked like it got ripped off. Banner looked better. He ain't in that crater no more. But that Hulkbuster armor is ripped off the body. Hulkbuster ain't gonna do nothing. Thanos is gonna rip him apart. Doctor Strange and his boy... They look real surprised. Look at that hole in the roof. He definitely crash landed. But Doctor Strange and his boy, all they do is energy shields. They ain't got no other power. Doctor Strange can't do nothing else but make energy shields. He's looking real boring real fast. Like, I need him to do something else for me to keep me, keep my attention. Scarlet, excuse me, Black Widow with blonde hair is throwing me off. I like my Black Widow with red hair and she's Russian. But Scarlet Witch can pull off a lot, excuse me, Black Widow can pull off a lot of looks. And this gotta be the most powerful Spidey sense I ever came across. His Spidey sense is tingling. Full blast, he on a school bus, and this ship is on the other side of New York. I thought it only worked if it was like around the corner. Nope, it's on the other side of New York. Spider-Man can sense anything coming. You're never gonna sneak up on him at all. Don't even try it. Loki always into something. He meant to stole that Tesseract out of Odin's vault try to plead his uh, allegiance to Thanos, it ain't gonna work. And he look beat up. Look at his lips. Lips look all dry. Ain't gonna work, Loki. Loki gonna try to scheme. Thanos gonna sniff him out right away. Thanos look pretty sweet, though. That CGI is on point. Look almost just like the comics. He looked tough. He looked menacing. And he was talking a lot of shit through the trailer. I liked it. I like my villain to talk a lot of shit and mean it and have people scared. He needs to be scary. 
The iron spider suit's working for me though. I'm interested to see what that looks like. See if they put the other four arms on there like in the comics. Because I didn't like the homecoming one where it was a regular suit souped up by Tony Stark. I didn't like it. I don't want my regular Spider-Man suit doing too much. But this, I'm excited to see. I have no idea who this woman is. If you know who it is, please let me know in the comment section. I thought it was Nebula. That's not Nebula. Steve Rogers is back. Good old Cap. Uh, he's probably just going to be Steve Rogers. I'm digging the beard and the long hair. Looks older, more mature. Looks, looks more serious. I'm interested to see what Captain America we're going to get. I am Arch Steve Rogers. You know, what is this going to be his role? And Thor. Thor, for being a god, always gets caught in the dumbest situations. Like, how are you the god of thunder and you caught pulling two levers? Like, what are you doing? You better be saving a whole ship of people. Uh, Steve Rogers punching the shit out of that monster. He punching the shit out of him. And then, on the same battlefield, Black Panther punching the shit or swiping the shit out this monster. What is this monster with four arms and fangs? I have no idea. Somebody please tell me. But they getting their ass whooped right down by those two. They are not playing around. Back to that, <clears throat> excuse me, back to that man Thanos. He got two of the Infinity Stones. He's not playing around. This got to be early in the movie. I hope it's action nonstop. And Tony Stark looking like he did in Civil War. Where's your suit? Uh, I got a suit. It's a three-piece. No, that's not going to work, bro. You better bring the Hulkbuster back out so I can get ripped apart again. Spider-Man getting yoked up. The Iron Spider didn't do too much because he is getting choke slammed like the big show on there. And then Thanos is knocking Iron Man's punk ass out. He must have went and got that suit. It's not going to work. None of his suits are going to work. Second from the left, you got M'Baku, which is the White Ape. And you got Steve Rogers and the Winter Soldier with the Black Panther. So after that Black Panther movie, M'Baku and uh, T'Challa must have worked it out for the better sake of Wakanda. I'm interested to see that. I cannot wait for Black Panther. Why is Falcon on the battlefield? He's so weak. The monster probably bulletproof. He's useless. Take him out the movie. But what are these monsters? They're coming out the forest. I hope that's not Wakanda on fire. But they are just stampeding. Black Panther looking like the HNIC leading the pack to go take them down. That must be before they start punching the shit out those monsters. But this end scene, I didn't notice before that you got Winter Soldier. Excuse me, you got War Machine and Falcon flying in. And then you got uh, Black Widow. And I don't remember the girl of Walking Dead's name. But, uh... Those four are going to get beat up, but the other the other four, they're going to do some damage. So, I can't wait. Thor in another dumbass situation, like always. Just dumb. How do you get in those situations? You got Star-Lord, who's weak. Then you got, uh, you got Mantis, Groot. You got Gamora, who got sister issues. Rocket's not going to do nothing. And then Drax is your comedic relief. I did enjoy the trailer. I honestly did. They kind of, they did a good job of not giving too much away too early because the movie doesn't come out till May, so you got six months. It's going to be highly anticipated. It is highly anticipated. People have been begging for that trailer for forever. So, it was good. I mean, I liked the Iron Spider suit. I liked a little bit of interaction between Black Panther and Captain America, which, I mean, he might not have been talking directly to him. It was just cut that way. Um, it's always cool to see all those superheroes together. Tony Stark was getting beat up the whole trailer. He always looked very distraught. Um, Thanos is menacing. I love that he got to be scary. I hope he's scary. And just beating everybody down. I want to see Thanos beat the mess out of the Hulk. It's going to mess, make all the Hulk fans mad. But that would be a very powerful moment to show how strong and brutal he is if he beats the Hulk down. In the comics, Thanos says that he avoids the Hulk even though he beats him at every turn. But that would be interesting. Uh, seeing Wakanda in the mix after the Black Panther movie comes out, which I'm very excited for, would be great. I don't know how I feel about the blonde hair on uh, uh, Black Widow. 
I don't know how I feel about the vision looking normal. I didn't I didn't know he could do that. Please somebody let me know if he ever looked normal in the comics. I don't know. Him and Scarlet Witch's relationship's kinda weird. Yeah, but that's kinda here nor there. But it seems like there's a lot of a lot of action in it. Once again, New York is getting destroyed. Why does Marvel hate New York for? Like every every hero's in New York? And they're always tearing New York up? Well, what's that going to do for the Defenders? I mean, are they going to see the repercussions in the new Netflix series when they come out? Seasons? Yeah, it's going to be... It's going to be nice, man. It's going to, I can't wait for it to come out, you know? It's going to be good. It's going to be good. There's going to be 16,000 other trailers and clips are going to release. So, there'll be more material to analyze. So, but yeah. Um, if you guys like my trailer breakdown... Subscribe, please subscribe for your boy. You know, like John Witherspoon used to say, help me, please, help me, please. But, uh, I'm, you know, it's my first couple of videos, so help a brother out. Let me know what you think. Put any words of wisdom in the comment section below, and I will only get better from here. It's kind of trial and error. It's the first two. You know, give, give a brother a break. But uh, I will holler at you guys very soon. Thanks. Enjoy the rest of your day. God bless you.